Keeping up to date with Major League Lacrosse and your favorite team has never been easier. Get all the latest news, highlights, and scores right to your smartphone with the new apps powered by Sports Authority. Download yours today. Hi there, I'm Chantel McCabe with the Major League Lacrosse News Update. Tim Gettleman, the all-time Major League Lacrosse leader in games played and goals scored, has announced his retirement. Gettleman entered the league in its inaugural season back in 2001 and played in the first ever Major League Lacrosse game on June 7th that year. On July 31st, 2010, he became the league's all-time goal-scoring leader. Do they look for number nine on this possession. Donowski drops it off. Gettleman, there it is! Tim Gettleman is now the all-time leading goal scorer in Major League Lacrosse history. The monster has 248 goals. Gettleman played his entire 11-year career with the Long Island Lizards and was a member of two Major League Lacrosse championship winning teams during that career. He joins us now via video chat. Tim, thanks for joining us. Tell us about this decision to retire. Um, it really was, uh, it comes down to family and um, I have three young girls under the age of four, and um, my youngest is going to turn one in a couple weeks. So come summertime, she's going to be walking, and uh, it's it's also you know looking at how the league is changing and the rosters are changing, new teams are coming in, and uh, I guess it's uh, time to pass on the baton and give it to the the young guys and uh, watch them you know excel and succeed in the league like I've had. You've been with Major League Lacrosse since the very beginning. Talk about the league now and then. Well, definitely, I think this, you have to talk about how the sport has changed, um, you know, through the 11 years. And um, But you got to give credit to the league. I mean, they've hung in, you know, when they thought they weren't going to have a season after the next season. And, uh, you know, Jake and everyone around it, I think, with Warrior and, all the sponsors and the people that work for the league, you just got to give them a lot of credit because, you know, this is amazing. You know, I never thought in a, you know, in all my lifetime uh, that I'd get paid to play lacrosse and I would have done it for free. Like I've always said, and um, it's just such a cool thing coming out of college and you get checks to play lacrosse. I mean, it's just, it's just really cool. And uh, so I think the league has changed where, you know, when the sport has changed, where it's become so many, uh, all these companies, and it's become very individualistic, where, you know, guys actually can make their careers with uh, lacrosse. And uh, so that has changed. Um, I think team aspect, team concept, you know, with guys with the commitments they have, whether it's through other jobs or through, you know, lacrosse and their companies, um, it's sort of tough to get everyone at practice, you know, and sort of get everyone on the same page. So that, that I think has become a challenge in the later years of my career, where in the beginning years, everyone was at practice, everyone was hanging out, you know, and, um, you know, hanging out after practice, hanging out after games and sharing family experiences. So I think that has changed, but overall, you know, the league has done a great job, um, you know, with, uh, you know, growing the sport, you know, as the sport grows, they've been growing with it. So, uh, I, I'm really excited for the future with these, with the two new teams and uh, all different coaches now in the game and all different players because it looks like my class has now sort of passed on. And um, so I'm excited for the league, but it definitely has been a big changes later. Obviously, in 11 seasons, there are a lot of memories. What stands out for you? The championships, you know, I'll never forget those. And even playing in the championship games, um, you know, that was really cool. But, you know, a, a championship moment was that Bayhawk win at Villanova. Uh, that was – I when I look at the video, I can't believe the players on both rosters. So that that was really an honor and just so cool to say I was in that game and just being on the right-hand side of uh, Kevin Lowe when Bear won that faceoff, uh, that little scramble, and then he gets it and puts it in on Catrano. You know, and we won the game in overtime. So that is definitely a championship moment um, individually, but it sort of coincides with the team because of how it happened at home when I broke the record. And, um, you know, I needed three goals. My family was there. The fans were there. and My teammates were behind me. They sort of knew what was going on. And I was over all the way to the end. 
uh, in the fourth quarter, and somehow I rattled off three. And, and the way I finished the last one on a backdoor feed from Donowski uh, and how they called timeout and, and acknowledged it, that was something I'll never, ever forget. It was a great moment. Now that you've retired, are you going to stay involved with the sport in the league? Uh, that, that's been the tough thing. I think they, the Lizards reached out to me to try to stay involved coaching. It's going to be tough, I think, for me. And it might sound a little selfish, but, I mean, if I'm there, I want to be playing. And um, I don't think I'll be able to coach, at least right now. So, but to answer your question, you know, we started Monsters Kids, and the Lizards were a big part of it. And Major League Lacrosse was a big supporter of it uh, when we started it. So, you know, I'm going to give back to the league and the Lizards and all the players that helped. Um, so with that, I'm going to be involved. Um, we adopted – a nice young boy, 12-year-old with brain cancer yesterday through the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. The Lizards adopted this 12-year-old defenseman from West Islip, Kenny Kodak. And uh, we went to the hospital actually yesterday at Cohen's where Monsters Kids is affiliated with. And that was just an amazing moment, you know, for that kid and, and for myself. And, and Casey Hilpert was there for, with me. And Scott Rose was heavily involved in it. So uh, that was really cool. But when Casey was talking about training camp, I was – I was getting all upset, and I said, okay, I got to go now because, you know, it's going to hurt this summer, um, you know, when training camp starts and when I see some of the scores and the games going on, and you know, Charlotte and Ohio are in it now. So I wish I was a part of it, but you know what? I'm going to look to the next chapter of my life and, and, and move forward. Tim, thanks again for joining us. Best of luck with everything. Thank you. Quinn Kessenich has been an analyst for Major League Lacrosse since the league started back in 2001. We turn to him now to get his thoughts on the career of Tim Gettleman. Tim Gettleman will go down as one of the best players and best people ever associated with Major League Lacrosse. He embodies all of the characteristics that make this league go. Timmy Gettleman, most goals in league history, 268 career goals, 95 assists, third point total all time. So production, certainly you can't argue with. Longevity, 132 regular season games for a guy who took a beating. Gettleman coming out of Loyola College, right-handed, big, strong. They called him the monster. Great inside role, very physical inside, good ground ball player and great rider. But what sets Gettleman apart to me is the leadership that he showed for Long Island. You go to a Long Island practice, and there's Timmy Gettleman running around the field, enthusiastic, cheering, almost like he's a 15-year-old. No doubt he loved to play the game. Second thing about Gettleman that stands out is the work he did off the field. Charity, hospital visits, signing autographs. This was a guy who gave of his time, uh, put his time where, where his mouth was. This guy stood for all the right things. His remarkable career both on and off the field. He'll be missed. He'll go down as one of the best people ever to play Major League Lacrosse. Thanks, Quinn. I'm Chantel McCabe, and this has been an MLL News Update. For all your MLL news, visit MajorLeagueLacrosse.com.